this is how I made a simple Geiger counter. It's always good to have a variac and a voltage multiplier. This is five stages here and one stage here. And you always want to have a circuit breaker, a two amp circuit breaker, on your variac so you don't hurt it. So I got the voltage multiplier and it goes to five one meg resistors and then it goes to I got this set at about a 150 ohms then back to the negative and then I got a set of old junk computer speakers with the input line with one wire before the resistor and one wire after the resistor on the negative side of the Geiger tube. So let's fire it up. Just stick this on here and turn it up until it starts clicking. Let's try a banana. Couple clicks. Not much. And that's the simple way to do it with computer speakers. Now I've tried to make homemade Geiger tubes. I tried every method possible. Here's one I made with a mica window. And I put butane gas in there and I ran it up to 8,000 volts and I couldn't get any homemade Geiger tube to work. Here's another one with a mica window. This one didn't work either. Never could get them to work. It all has to do with the gas mixture inside the tube it's called a pinning mixture it's a mixture of three different types of gas and I think that's the main reason why you just can't make one from scratch but that's the simple setup with the speakers and voltage multiplier and a variac and that's the simple way to do it